the lift. That was my biggest issue. When you've been a Marine for 17 years and go by the name Spanky, there's probably not a lot you haven't been through. <laughs> so learning to ski with one leg didn't scare Spanky Gibson. He knows a little about fear and a whole lot about courage. It can always be worse. I mean, it, I, I've known that from the beginning. The first time I saw it, I didn't have a leg at the end of my, uh, my stump, you know, under my covers. I was just like, well, you know, that's, that's life. Let's uh, start moving forward. Spanky lost his leg to a sniper in Iraq. Since then, he's learned to walk again and bike and even golf. The week before he came to Colorado to ski, he was in a triathlon. What does it mean for you to be able to get your, get your body back? I've got two roads that I can take. I can, I can loathe myself in self-pity and do nothing and not walk again or not do anything like this again, or I can pee positive and I can do everything that I think I can, you know, that's possible to do. Gibson is one of dozens of disabled Iraq war vets who came to Breckenridge at the invitation of the Wounded Warrior Project and Disabled Sports USA. It's a way to restore some of what's been lost on the battlefield. When you're coming down the slope like that, what is, what's the sensation for you? Oh, it's just it's freedom. Many of these vets have spent more than a year in hospitals and rehabilitation. And even with an army of volunteers and the best equipment available, falling and failure are real possibilities. This is the first mountain for them. This is the first mountain in their next step of recovery. I, but I, I can tell you, um, they, they're scared. Natasha McKinnon was coaxed into coming here by the staff at Walter Reed Army Hospital. This is a great experience. This is my first time, this is the first time skiing, so I'm enjoying myself very much. An IED ripped through Natasha's Humvee in Iraq. She lost a leg, and her body will always be riddled with shrapnel. None of that is important now, as Natasha skis free from the tethers of her instructors for the first time in her life. To lose a limb in a war, it would be easy to be bitter, to be angry. Instead, on the mountainside, we found joy. That was working. <laughs> Do you feel lucky to be alive? Oh, of course. No, that's, uh, that's the most important thing we have, right, is, is life. So I'm going to live it to the fullest and have the best time I can. They say they teach hey, skiing here. Nice it seems like a whole lot more than that. Nice job. Harry Smith, CBS News, Breckenridge, Colorado.